Okay, this is just a quick video on downloading YouTube videos and then uh, working on the audio um, using um, using Audacity and Adobe Sound Booth. Um, first of all, I, I download my videos with a YouTube downloader. There's other ones out there. I just I've been using this one for a long time. I like it. Small footprint doesn't put a lot of crap on your computer. This will download the videos in a .flv format. Um, so once your video is downloaded. Okay, like I said, it'll be a .flv file. Um, I used to just uh, rename them to a .avi file, and I was able to, to import them right into uh, Adobe products, but recently it's, it hasn't been working. I don't know if they changed something or what. But anyway, so we download the file, then we open it up in Audacity. Um, actually, we'll get rid of this. I'll show you. Um, Audacity is a free program, free audio editing, free audio editing program. Um, it's really nice program. Um, you download the plugins for it and whatnot, and you can import <coughs> just about any video file and extract the, the audio from it. So in this case, we'd fire it up. Uh, we'd bring in the video that I downloaded from YouTube, which is a, uh, th this is a relaxation video. Um, you know, it's more of a narration than it's a whisper. I have another channel on YouTube, um, Amish Buggy 116, where I, uh, do, um, post relaxation videos. Okay, anyways, as you saw, it, it imported the .flv file, and here's the audio from it. Okay, um, we'll take a listen to it here in Audacity. Um, you can hear the, the uh, hiss, you know, quite a bit of hiss in there. So what we'll do is we will, we could work on this in Audacity. We could we could work on the hiss and whatnot in Audacity, but I, I, I like Sound Booth. Um, I think it's, it's more powerful. Um, so we would just export this. Okay, we're going to export it as a wave. Okay, you can export it as an MP3 or this or that. So I'll just export it as a wave. Um, don't want to put no tags on it. It's nice you can, you know, tag and everything and this and that, but I won't do any of that right now. Okay, so now that's exported as a wave. Okay, so now we'll fire up Sound Booth, um, and we'll get to uh, cleaning up this audio here. Okay, so when you get in uh, get in the Sound Booth, your, your wave files here. Um, we'll take another listen to it here in Sound Booth. Okay, so you can hear that the hiss in the background. So to, to take care of that. What you want to do is zoom in on your waveform. You just hit the plus on your keyboard. And you want to find an area in between your, uh, whatever the hell you call them things. Spikes, peaks, whatever, I don't know. Okay, you highlight a flat area. Okay, it doesn't have to be long. You, you want it just a little short piece. Okay, then you, with that highlighted, you go up to your processes. You want to do a capture noise print. Okay, so that's going to take all the noise from that little area there. Now, to apply to the entire, to the entire uh, waveform, okay, you double click. But if you double click with it zoomed out or zoomed in like this, as you can see up here, it just applies it to the zoomed area. Okay, so what I do is I just zoom back out, okay, till it's till it's all in the window. Okay, then you double click and you have your entire file highlighted. Then you go to your processes, you hit reduce noise. Okay, so now here you got these sliders, uh, you know, to to make your adjustments. We'll look at that here. Um, let me actually I want to move this because I want to get over to a point here. Okay, so now we'll do that. Reduce noise. Okay, if you preview it. So now that's with the that's with the sliders there. Now you can hear that kind of that tinny noise in the background. Well, sometimes you gotta go real aggressive, like this one here. If I run it up to 100%, and we'll run this all the way up to the max. Now, when you listen to it, we'll let the we'll apply the effect, increase the volume a little bit. Oh, I should have uh, I should have shut the effect off and so you could hear the before and after. But I'm sure you uh, you caught that, so I'm gonna let this effect apply. Do, 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 do. Come on, you son! Of, I guess I'm gonna have to put like a terabyte of RAM in my computer. I got 16 gig of RAM in here, and it still takes freaking forever. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so now here it is with the audio cleaned up, with the with the noise reduced. Okay, sounds much better, much better. Now the next thing we want to do is as you're looking at this waveform. You see these uh, these real long lines here. Again, I don't know what the hell they're called. They're just long lines. So you know when you see that, there's going to be some noise there that uh, really isn't supposed to be there. Now we'll take this one here, okay, by my timeline indicator. We'll take a listen to it. Okay, so you hear that noise. I don't know, somebody hit the microphone or whatever. Okay, now in order to get that noise out of there, you want to go to your spectral frequency display, which is a really cool tool. Um, I know that... Uh, 
you know, when I first started farting around with this stuff, you know, I looked at this thing like, what the hell is that? And, but it actually works pretty good for, uh, for you know, idiots like me and stuff that just want to do crap like this. Okay, so here are some lines we were looking at there. Okay, so now you see here, this is your left channel, right channel. At the bottom here, this is your low end, okay, your bassy tones. So you can see this yellow peak sticking up here. So if we take our marquee tool, right up here, the rectangular marquee tool, and we highlight that, okay, we just highlight that area. We can take the volume, which will, which will appear over the highlighted area, and run it down to negative 96. Now, okay, that does it on the left and the right channel. So now when you play that piece back, okay, see, it's just about all gone. Okay, if I would have zoomed in, if you zoom in on your on your spectral frequency display, you can catch a lot of little gremlins that hide around that you really can't see when you're zoomed all the way out like this. But we'll take another another area, like right over here. There's a there's a real funky noise. Sounds like a sounds like a ghost whale or some crap. That's I didn't get far enough over. Oh, that wasn't it. But you still heard a freaking noise. I think it's right here. Okay, see, so hear that? It sounds, I don't know what the hell that is. It sounds pretty funky. Anyways, so now you can just highlight, see the different colors there. Yellow, pink, whatever other colors in there. You just highlight that whole area there. You just slap that down to as low as it can go. And then play it back. Okay, so that's it. Now, if you were to do this prior to removing the hiss and the noise in the background, when you got to these spots here where you zeroed out the volume, you would hear it in the hiss. The hiss goes away. You know, these shh, now it's like quiet and shh. So, you know, I, like, I do this after I, you know, remove the hiss and all this and that. Now, the other thing you can do, something like this, which is like a narration, you know, um, you can actually just get rid of, you can zero out the entire low end here, okay? Just highlight it. It highlights it on the left and the right. And just freaking slap that puppy down. And we'll take a quick listen to it. This uh, spectral waveform display, it's, it is pretty cool, man. I mean, when you first look at it, like I say, it looks, you know, and you're like, what the hell is that thing? I mean, if you're somebody like me, you know, that uh, doesn't have any uh, audio engineering experience. Anywho, all right, so now we play that. And you can see how it really it hasn't affected the, the the audio at all now i'm sure in you know music situations and stuff you know you're not going to want to wipe out your whole low end also you'll notice the peaks here have you know a lot of them have disappeared you still have a couple well, you know one there one there that'll be crap that's inside here you know and as you work on it you know you can remove you know you get zoomed right in there and you can really start plucking out you know crap or gremlins that are hiding in there so um anyways that's it if you got any questions just ask we'll uh, talk to you later see ya